Hey guys, here for another video. I am back. I'm not dead. I don't have cancer. I just been going through some shit. And also, YouTube has been a bitch. Uh, you know, been taking down my, some of my videos. I didn't, but they have. They've been a little bit more uh, strict of community guidelines. I've been getting reported by a lot of people again. Uh, you know, middle of like possibly getting sued. Uh, very horrible. I mean, these past two weeks I couldn't even post because uh, YouTube gave me a strike again. But. Uh, I think everything's gonna work out with the strikes, not so much with the court stuff, but we'll see if I get fucked in the ass with that. But nonetheless, I am here. I'm gonna start doing these a little bit more consistently because I sort of have a little bit more time to do these. And, uh, you know, I obviously do wanna grow this channel still. So I'm back, I'm black, and we're gonna review a black lady. I love my little blackies. And this one's a little bit, uh, I wouldn't say as famous, but again, it was, <clears throat> but again, she was a request and I always do every request. So I'm like, oh, okay. You know what? I'm feeling happy Black History Month a little early today. So we're looking at yo fave uh, underscore Reese Gold. Reese's world. I mean, she looks like a Reese's piece. So shout out to her bio. I'm Reese the singer. I sing, rap, dance, write, and much more. <clears throat> I also put OnlyFans. Follow and support 20 blah, 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 blah. No one gives a shit. And then she puts her link tree below. And I will say, I was doing my background research on her. I'm like, who is she? Why does she have so many followers? Does she buy her Instagram account? Is she, a, is she actually a singer? She got singles. Does she do covers of SpongeBob songs? I don't know. I was hoping she would do a cover of like a uh, Hellfire from like Quasimodo or Hunchback of Nerd Dame. Couldn't find any of that. But she does have an Instagram, not too active on social media. So I think she's just a random black girl with big tits that looks very good. And she built her following off that. So shout out to that. And I was seeing some of her music. And I think she does have a good voice. I don't really see her as a singer, rapper. I see her more as like an airport airport voice. I see her like a, another Siri. Uh, you know, if, I, if I'm on the train, it's like 12 minutes to get to Clark and Lake. Uh, I definitely see her as like a voice of a train stop. So, you know, keep doing the grind. Keep singing. Keep rapping. I hope to one day hear you on a bus stop or something like that and i would definitely you know shout out you know hashtag yo fee yo favorites girl then we can work from there and i always say it is important to kind of see like how these people advertise themselves right is her instagram showing off her tits is her instagram showing off her ass is her instagram showing off what is she showing off what is her caricature that she's portraying uh and maybe you might have an idea of where her only fans might be right and i think from looking at all her stuff i think it's as no surprise that she's just showing off her body she's sexualizing herself so when i see that it's like okay i don't see a guy i don't know what to expect too much maybe she's just showing off some nudes right if she's showing off herself in a bra if she's showing off her tits like 90 percent of the way then it would make sense that if i were to get her only fans it's probably showing the other 10 percent right so let's look into that really quick and uh, let's just get right into the only fans so right when you get an only fans it's sexy and fun content you would never see me post anywhere when people say fun content i don't really see sexy and fun to be the same right like uh I wouldn't say sex is fun, right? It's pleasurable, but fun is like going to a roller coaster, going to Six Flags. Hey, maybe going fucking roller skating. That's more fun. I don't really see as like a sexy fun content unless she's playing Jenga or she's like Twitch streaming or something. But uh, again, that's just a little bit of a PSA. I wish her description had a little bit more juice into it. Like a uh, cool, sexy and fun content. What does that mean? Am I seeing your tits? Are you getting fucked by a guy, a donkey, a fucking, I don't know, Ronald McDonald comes in and squirts all over your fucking face while like the uh, the, the king from burger king's like shoving his cock down your throat again i don't know i just wish these people are a little bit more descriptive and i personally even though it might be a little like uh i wouldn't say uh heartless but just list what you do right bullet point boy and girl bullet point uh vibrator content bullet point uh pay-per-view content bullet point no nudes it's just short and sweet and gets to the point i think that has a lot more effectiveness towards people when they're trying to decide if they want to get your only fans or not but it's ten dollars a month I personally think it's a good price. Five to fifteen dollars is a good price. Uh, but there is something you guys should know before I even get into this, and I think it's like it's one of her posts that she pins, and this kind of ruins the whole OnlyFans. So if you don't care about black girls, you don't care about Black History Month, George Floyd, black squares, yellow squares. I don't fucking know. Uh, you might want to end this video, but I'm gonna read this post because I think it is very, very important to notice this, and she should probably put this on her description so you're not wasting ten dollars. Sure, ten dollars not a lot, but it is ten fucking McChickens, right? So. Uh, uh, first post is I make teasing content for all my loving subscribers, but if any one of you want to see any uncensored content, D fucking Emmy, bitch, god damn it, I'll give you prices for them. I know there were some people confused on why I won't show my full body naked on my feed, and that's because my subscription price is only $10, which is fucking normal, by the way, most people do $5 to $10. I won't make money from showing my naked body for $10, and I won't even get the full 10 because tax gets taken, taken out but god her fucking english is bad plus i don't charge you guys for dming me i let you all dm me free and i'll dm you back while others would charge 
please understand where I'm coming from. Thank you for the ones that actually knows how all this works and never complain. I appreciate you all. How it works mostly, what most people do is that they'll do not pay-per-view content, show full nudity, uh, right? And you have to think about it, right? Is your body really worth that much? When you look at like the cesspool of pussy, the cesspool of big asses, the cesspool of fucking tits out there, your body isn't worth like $50 subscription. A nude probably isn't worth $20, right? Just really think about it. There's a shit ton of black girls with big tits with big lips that can sing as well. For hell, there's probably a black girl out there can can sing the whole fucking SpongeBob theme song with like on fucking falsetto. Again, there isn't to anything special about her. And I know it hurts to say that. I know, but you have to think about it, right? When you're doing OnlyFans and you're looking at people and a sexual way you're not really looking at them for their talents right you're seeing them for their body and the content that they have and you know and that's what i judge it as i look at their content is it good or bad i'm not really looking into like their character and like uh if she fucking volunteers in like the local fucking shelter feeding uh, i don't know feeding her squirt juice to the local homeless man who's an alcoholic but again that is something to realize uh that first post i think is very vital and she like i said should be on the description of her only fans in terms of numbers has 11 photos and 23 videos which is pathetic numbers by the way just just post every day once every day it's really not that hard i don't know how much money she's making maybe she's making a shit ton and she's like you know what i could get away with this maybe she found like a sugar daddy on there and she's like man fuck it uh i just don't think what she has is worth it the numbers are pretty pathetic but let's talk about the videos uh pictures there's nothing spectacular they're all pretty instagram like like literally there isn't anything crazy if you guys are expecting to see nudes you're not seeing it the craziest thing you'll see in terms of pictures are tits but they're being censored by like a heart emoji but let's talk about the video because who knows maybe the videos are life-changing maybe she's like sucking dick for 50 hours straight mr b style but let's just uh, talk about it longest video is two minutes a minute 47 a minute 32 a minute 26 a minute 25 and the majority of her videos do fall between the, uh, the 30 to minute mark uh kind of great but again she just doesn't have many videos and if you guys are expecting to see uh, sexy and fun content whatever that means uh her definition based on what she has on her only fans is just shaking her ass on slow motion shaking her tits slow motion uh put it on regular speed is probably going to be like the minute videos it's gonna probably be 30 seconds uh again it's just nothing good if you guys want to see another black girl twerking you're not even seeing her face in some of the videos it's like okay it could literally be any black girl as uh there isn't really anything too special sure you get to see her tits but again they're censored there is no full nudity there is no full radar triple x fucking hot chocolate cocklet fucking dick insider and if you guys are expecting to see any of that you are not now overall if the only fans worth it or not definitely not i mean i get it i get her reasoning i get that she probably sees herself value her body valued a little bit higher seeing like i'm not gonna show my tits it's only worth ten dollars again like i said earlier think about the whole fucking shithole that only fans is that porn is right no one really is like wow your body's worth so much money it's more like uh yeah i've already seen tits yeah i've already seen this yeah i could probably find another black girl maserati fucking sucking dick selling her only fans for five dollars and i always say have good content whether it's five fifteen fifteen dollars who knows maybe it's twenty five dollars if you have good content you're gonna get the numbers eventually i know you have to market it marketing is very hard I definitely have been seen and trying to help people out with that easier said than done but Overall, her OnlyFans is not worth it if you guys are interested in trying to get it. Now, like always, guys, please leave a comment below if you guys have any suggestions. Uh, like I said, I'm back. I'm black. I'm ready to fucking, like, black a white girl. And actually, no, I'm not too into white girls. But I am pretty excited to do, like, these YouTube videos again because I've been lacking. But, uh, yeah, if you guys can give it a like, please give it a subscribe. Uh, and I do appreciate you guys for watching this video. So, like always, hit that fucking sub button, subscribe, notification, or I will actually, literally, factually shoot myself on fucking Disney livestream. I, nah, I'm not joking. But uh, thanks, guys. Bye.